Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another gorgeous day in the garden. I'm very excited. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today we're doing some product testing. We are testing these nifty little handles that I have on my canvas. This is from a company called Hands Off Handles. And I got these on Amazon. And uh, their website is www.handsoffhandles.co. So, check them out if you are looking for a product like this. I'm very excited to use them. I haven't used them before, so this will be my first time. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. Go big or go home, right? Okay, I have taped the back of this and I have put my push pins in, which actually are not needed because they are standing on these handles. So let me show you what these actually are. These only work on a gallery wrapped canvas, by the way. They would not work on a level one or a level two canvas with a thinner frame. It does work on the gallery wrapped and it just slides right in there and then it has these little twisty screws that you tighten up. And it's actually sitting on those two, so which is higher than my pins. So it's not actually touching my pins at all, but I still want the pins in there for when I want it to dry. So these just tighten up like this, righty tighty, lefty loosey and they're holding the canvas and we're gonna attempt to tilt like this so <laughs> it should be interesting the first thing that we're gonna do is put down a bit of a base coat and paint the sides and edges um, i have here a foam brush that i have actually used previously so this part of it's kind of dried up but that's okay because what i do is i just take my scissors and i literally just cut off a chunk to use and then I just use this. You could actually take this little piece of foam out of there and then it's a nice soft spongy brush. So I'm gonna just take my permanent blue violet, that is the color I was working with. And I'll do this on top of the canvas so you guys can see. And I'm gonna take a scoop of it and I'm gonna put it right inside the lid right there. And then that's what I'm going to dip my little foam brush in to paint this. So I'm going to do it towards me. I'll just do it up here so you guys can sort of see it from this angle maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Okay. We'll probably speed this part up, part up anyway. So and the reason that I do this is because I don't want transparent edges. I want my edges and sides to be opaque with the color not seeing any white canvas through there. Okay. Probably should have done this before I put the handles on, but it's okay. There's plenty of room and the handles are not actually touching the side of the canvas, which I am impressed with. And they look like they're made of a material that if it did get paint on it, the paint would probably peel right off. Okay, so the last thing that I do when I do this, now all the sides are covered very evenly. I just take that same brush and just kind of go along the top edge to make sure that the top edge does have paint on it and is opaque. So this is usually where we start. <laughs> okay, I am shooting solo today. HOA has gone to physical therapy and he's taken Baxter with him. So I have a free day to paint. I am striking while the iron is hot and enjoying it. <laughs> okay, let's close that up. So let me show you the colors now, since we've done all that. So the first one we're using is Amsterdam Blue Violet, which I love, 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 love this color. Gorgeous stuff. And then I am using Amsterdam Greenish Blue. My consistency is not super thick, just barely leaving a mound, okay? And then I'm using Folk Art Treasure Gold Series in Aquamarine, beautiful color. I use this in Aquamarine with Envy, that uh, big 30 by 40, it's really beautiful pour. I have my 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana de Crom Metallics, 24 karat. And I have a little bit of Amsterdam Titanium White and Pure White with just a little bit of the Satin Enamels in there. Okay, so 
What we're going to do, we're going to lay, layer a cup and then we're going to do a straight pour. So, for a 24 by 24, we actually need 21 ounces of paint. I don't want to use 21 ounces of paint. I want to use about 16 ounces of paint and hopefully leave some negative space. So, for my first color, let's start with, actually I'm going to do this up here just so that you can see it a lot better. Right there, I think is where it's focused. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of gold in the bottom of the cup. Not a whole lot. And then I'm going to put a little bit of that permanent blue violet on there. So we're just going to pour it like I usually do. This is thinner than my usual consistency, but that's okay. That's fine. I'm going to put a tiny bit of white on top of that. A much smaller amount. And some of our greenish blue. some of our aquamarine. Such a pretty color. And then I'm gonna go put another little layer of white on there. Actually, I'm gonna put a layer of gold on there first. And then some white. And then we're gonna go back to our purple. The thicker layer. Isolation coat. <laughs> some greenish blue. That was a lot. And then some of our aquamarine. Some gold. White. And because I want to use this blue violet as our base coat color, I'm going to pour a little bit of that on the top. Okay, so now our cup is ready to go. Um, Alright, I have a couple of drips over here that are from the leaky cup pour that I did. Lee and Jeremy Massey's leaky cup, which is really pretty. But this is a beautiful color. So I think I'm going to use this as my flow extender base coat because I don't have enough of just the plain permanent blue violet. So, alright, let's do this. We're going to do a straight pour and kind of wander around. So I'm going to pour a bigger puddle of gold. Pour it into. Okay, let's see. Let's move this over so this is focused where HOA would be normally, right there. Okay. Are you ready? We're going to do a straight pour. Here we go. that I poured the bigger puddle of gold because I can still sort of see some of it around it which means that my paint hasn't been rolling over itself it's just been moving that puddle of gold outward I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of this or some of it around the edge anyway and the idea of this is as our paint moves around then it's gonna roll over this gold and spread it out and thin it out even more and as we stretch things out we might get some beautiful gold cells popping up through there which is kind of neat so this is cool. Let's give this a quick torch and then we will use our hands off handles. I'm excited about this. I've never used them before. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's just check the consistency on this drips. Take some of my blue violet and put it in there just to deepen up that color just a bit. And I'm actually not going to thin this out. I'm going to leave it this consistency because it's already pretty thin and I don't want it to be 
too thin and zigzag all over the place. So I'm going to go around that gold. I'm going to get some on our corners. And that's the drips that I scraped off my table from my last pour. I do use them. All right, let's spread this out. It's a pretty color. And you want to make sure you have enough paint on your edges and the sides because if you don't, then your paint is going to start rolling over itself. Oh, that's really pretty. Did you guys see my leaky cup pour? <laughs> Lee and Jeremy Massey have made this really cute little nifty invention called the leaky cup. Actually, it's right here. That has uh, six holes in the bottom of it. So you put it in your canvas and then you pour down. It was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. I'm going to have to do another one. But this is my, the rest of my paint from that. And when I'm testing things, I like to use the colors that I'm familiar with, that I know what they're gonna do. Just to remove one of the variables. Okay. Go through here, haha. <laughs> All right. So that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to go over the sides real quick with the paint that has dripped down. Okay, clean that up in a second. We are going to actually go over the sides on these. I just want to be sure just in case we want to leave some negative space because that's a pretty good color. We will be able to. And we won't have to worry about the sides being too different. Okay. I'm not used to turning it with these things on there. <laughs> bubble there. Smooth that out a bit. Use the spatula to be easy. And the reason that we use a spatula instead of using our hands is because if you use your fingers and your gloves or fingers leave kind of marks or tracks, you could see those once it's dry. So by using a spatula, then you don't see those marks. Okay, let's tilt this out, I'm excited. So these are the hands off handles. Let's see. How do we have an empty spot right there? All right. Ooh. All right, let's see, what do we like? I love the center and I love all of this. This can, some of that can go off for sure, some of the gold, that's okay, all right. So let's just, let's tilt this around in a circle just to kind of get the feeling of the handles and how everything is gonna move around. And in doing this, I'm just sort of spreading out the paint. We're going in a big circle. edge back towards me okay let's turn this around now we may not keep any negative space on this one bring the weight of the paint back to the center a bit and then we're gonna head over this way down the 
this way now. I'm still gonna. <laughs> I guess I'm glad that it's kind of screwed on there so I can tilt it this way even if I'm not holding the other handle. some of that side. towards the center at an angle again. position down this way just a little bit. to them a little bit more, but I can see how that would be really, really helpful, especially maybe for someone who doesn't like to get paint on their hands. <laughs> but something really cool is happening over here as we stretch out this top part. There's a lot of little cells popping up, which is awesome. I think we're going to leave that one just like that. Probably go like this, because I like those ribbons at the bottom with the boulder cells in them and I love this top part it's very very pretty okay I'm gonna wipe my hands off and go over behind each OA's camera and see if I can't get a close-up wipe my hands off so we don't get paint on this camera actually I'm just gonna take the gloves off Frame everywhere. Yeah. 
things. Okay, get my glasses. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna zoom in. We'll start from this corner over here. Really pretty stuff. Oops. There we go. That's beautiful. See those? There's a little cell. They're so cute. I like the center. More little cells popping up. I like that corner. That greenish blue is such a beautiful color. Especially I like it with the blue violet. Gold cells in there, those little boulders. I like this corner. It's not quite a bikini corner, Karen, so it's okay. <laughs> Karen's so funny. Okay, seen Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. She's amazing. She's going to be teaching at the Fluid Art Experience with myself and Sarah Mack and Kathleen from Cause Creations and Lee and Jeremy Massey from Massey Art Studio. I meant to go the other way on that one. Okay, there we go. So there's our piece, guys. Thanks so much for being here with us. Get back over there and say goodbye. Thank you for being here with me today. This was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this too. I like these little gold cells. So you remember that, that puddle of gold that we poured into initially and the ring of gold that we put around there spread out and went real thin and when we slid over it, now we're getting gold cells popping up. So this is pretty cool. I like it. I will show you guys when it's dry. We'll see you in a minute. So this is a couple of days later and it's totally dry now. This one is so pretty. I really love these colors together, that Amsterdam greenish blue and permanent blue violet and that really pretty aquamarine from Folk Art Treasure Gold series and our 24 karat gold. Look at these cute little cells up there at the top. They're adorable. Sorry, there is no sun today. Actually, it has been raining all day long. <laughs> This one is really, really pretty. Um, it's very dreamy to me. And it looks kind of like there are parts of it that are glowing. And uh, I'm gonna go get the handles and show you what they look like because there's a little bit of paint on them. And I think it's gonna peel right off, so we will discover that together. But ultimately, as far as the hands-off handles, I think they were really, really cool. Um, it was very easy to tilt. It was very easy to hold. They were easy to install. I really enjoyed them. This part's really, really pretty in the center. Everything's kind of like outlined, kind of glowing. If there were sun on this, it would probably look better. <laughs> but this is really cool. So I'll show you the, uh, the hands-off handles. We'll be right back. Okay, so here they are. There's a little bit of paint on there. This one's actually really pretty. <laughs> See if we can't pull some of this off. Because it should just peel right off. Yeah. So that's really cool. So that's neat. I like the little handles. I think they're really cool. Very easy to use. And uh, cool stuff. So if you're looking for something like that, I do recommend these. They're really cool hands off handles. I did find mine on Amazon, but you can go to their website as well. So, thank you so much for being here. We'll see you guys real soon. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.